Bronze, check. Bold, check. Under $500, check. This comes in at $490. This is the Fonderia Naval Stella. So uh, I've been running around the house yelling Stella a lot, but I digress. So this is the sister brand of Pontus watches. I reviewed uh, Pontus watch early last year. I think it was February of 2018. This is their sister brand, though uh, there is no Fonderia website. It's all located on the Pontus website, uh, which is a little strange. But this is their sister brand. Um, both brands uh, highly concentrate on bronze and brass pieces. Now this one, right off the bat, you're probably noticing that the uh, case is very different color than that crown, and it is. And the reason for that is that the case is CUNS6, or excuse me, am I saying that properly? Probably not. <laughs> CUSN6 bronze, and then the crown is a tin phosphor bronze. That is a 10 and a half millimeter thick crown. It's a very large crown. Now, you're getting all of what you would expect um, you know, this is 200 meters water resistant. It, of course, has a sapphire crystal. I've already uh, thrown all the specs up there on the screen for you. Comes with two straps, this isoframe style strap and a nice leather strap as well. Now, I'm not sure if you get both buckles. Uh, there's the same buckle on both of these uh, watches here. I don't know if that was just done uh, for being sent to me or if you'll have to swap them out. Um, but you can confirm that uh, with uh, Pontus watches. But uh, $490. Now, unfortunately, I got to throw this in there real quick. This blue dial that you're seeing here, I'm not sure if it's going to be available again. Um, they, uh, they told me right afterwards that the blue dial isn't available. And I checked on the website. And you currently cannot add this blue dial to cart. It is uh, grayed out. So there is one other color available, which is a really bright, vibrant green. Now, we're going to give you a look at this watch and talk about it a little bit more here. First thing I want to do is show off that texture dial. Is it a textured enamel dial? You can see you do have this very, very vibrant blue. You have uh, those orange accents with the hand, with the uh, second hand, and your 15-minute uh, marker there. You got applied indices, my favorite, the date at the six. I'm Yoda 9015 movement in here. Now you're gonna see that this has a lot of patina going on. That is the way it was sent to me. You can see you have screwed lugs. Now I will say, even though you do have screwed lugs, they are not one piece. So you are going to need two screwdrivers. I don't believe they're included. There is that massive signed 10 and a half millimeter crown. And another thing to point out is that, uh, unlike a lot of bronze watches, this is all bronze all over, except for that case back and those bezel screws. By the way, uh, this is a fixed bezel. Obviously, it doesn't have any markings on it, so it really wouldn't make sense uh, for it to be a rotating bezel. That, of course, is a screw-down crown. Let me flip it over here upside down because you have that 10 o'clock crown. Makes it a little easier for me, especially behind a camera here. Uh, to go ahead and try and uh, manipulate it. But you can see, obviously, this very large crown is going to be very easy to use. You can see you have those integrated built-in crown guards. Now, you're going to get two straps with this watch. You get an isoframe style strap. Both have this crazy huge bronze buckle, a very nice design bronze buckle. Here is the brown leather strap that is included. Very, very nice brown leather strap as well. It's a very, very nice strap. 24 millimeters on both. And what you have here is the design. Now, of course, design and aesthetic and everything is always subjective. I think this is a really cool piece. Now, mind you, this is not a piece that I would normally gravitate to, nor would I probably use for daily wear. One, I'm kind of allergic to bronze, so I can only wear it for a very short amount of time before uh, I have to take it off because my wrist uh, does turn, well, an awful shade of green. But what I like about this watch is it's just, you know, shy under $500 at $490. But man, are you getting a lot of watch here. This is a massive chunk of bronze. You have this 
really great dial. It's just not your normal sunburst dial. It's not your normal, you know, matte dial. You've got a nice texture dial here. The applied markers, you could see that slightly domed sapphire crystal here. The whole thing is in a neat look. It's like, looks like it from, was from like a submarine or something. You know, you have that massive crown. Just the whole thing, I mean, that's a lot of watch, in my opinion, for $490. Obviously, a lot of watches come through here that I review. Um, and like I said, I'm not a bronze person, per se. Like, if this was in titanium, I'd be like, oh, man, I'd, not only titanium would make it a lot more lightweight, but I'd probably really want it, because it is different, and it still probably wouldn't be my everyday go-to, but it'd be nice to put on something different once in a while. Speaking of putting this on, let me do that now and show you how this wears, because you might be thinking, well, that's kind of a large watch, but it's got a little surprise. The surprise is, I guess, I guess maybe not really a surprise, but, you know, for a watch uh, with these dimensions, you know, 53 millimeter lug to lug, 44, but, you know, with the, you know, you have those integrated crown guards and that large crown, you know, somewhat of a large watch. But then you go ahead, and you take a look at this profile here, and you see just how nicely this watch actually sits against the wrist. This watch really does have that wrap around feeling. And for a bigger watch such as this, it's not a massively thick, you know, cube on your wrist. It's not a hockey puck on your wrist. This is actually going to be very, very comfortable to wear. There it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. Here is a look at the loom on the Stella. I gotta say, um, you know, if you like bronze, if you like something a little bit different, you know, obviously if you're somewhat conservative, this is not going to be the piece for you. If you like something a little different, a little funky, this blue dial, oh my God, I absolutely love this gorgeous shade of blue. That is an extremely vibrant blue, even more vibrant, I would say, than the uh, Raven Oh, man, I can't remember the name of the model. It's on the website and the YouTube channel. I reviewed it just a few months back, uh, the Raven uh, Venture 2. That's what it was. This is even more vibrant than that. This is a real punchy blue, and I think it's a fantastic color. Now, unfortunately, like I said, that blue is not available right now, and I don't know if they're going to be making more of it. Only the green is available. Nothing wrong with that green, and that green goes what, really well with that bronze. Uh, you know, uh, hopefully I can get confirmation if they're going to make more. If not, you're going to have to go to the secondary market to look for this blue dial. But uh, if you do like what you see here, of course, in the link, uh, excuse me, in the description below, I'll have a link to their website and uh, a link to the full review at watchreport.com. Go ahead over there and uh, you can read more of my thoughts and comments on this piece and uh, check out all my photos as well. If you're not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell twice. That way you never miss any of our content. Leave a like or a comment. We, uh, we'd be appreciated. Uh, Excuse me, we would be appreciative if you left a like or a comment here on our video. I hope you like this one, and uh, like I said, if you want to check more out, go ahead and uh, click the link to watchreport.com. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This has been Don Evans for watchreport.com. Giving you a look at Stella! Thank you very much. Talk to you on the next one.